All right, welcome on back, folks, to the next episode of Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, so there's one thing I do kind of want to go through with you guys um, before we continue through the area. Um, so how uh, the whole humanity and kindling bonfires and shit like that works. So like, let's go. Let's say, let's say we take damage. Um, we use our SS flasks. Let's say we use. Let's say we use down to three. So then when we go rest at an unkindled bonfire, it will refill us back up to five. But if you sit there and you pop a humanity. Oh, what? That's right. I forgot I quick slotted them. If you pop a humanity, you can either reverse your howling, which will make it to where you can summon people and it will also change your cosmetic from being a hollow, which is what we look like now, to uh, being a human. Or you can use it to kindle your uh, your bonfire. So when you kindle it, um, what it'll do is it'll allow you to have um, more more Estus flasks. So let's go ahead and reverse hollowing. We'll kind of see what I was talking about here. Humanities restored, so now we look like our true self. And then we can kindle the bonfire and we'll go from five to ten so that that's kind of how you have how you get more than just five um ss flasks um really i probably shouldn't have wasted humanity on kindling this one the boss in this area is pretty easy uh, but i just kind of wanted to show you how the whole thing worked um so now that that's kind of been explained, let's go through the these guys again, even though there's really no point. I mean, they don't give us much. I thought I really was thinking about just going through and like farming, getting my uh, my strength to 24 so we could wield the Zweihander, but I was like, eh, you know what, fuck it. It is what it is. We will deal with it. Uh, there is an enemy here that I think will give us enough to get that level. Um, but we will see. It's like right there, we already have a level. Um, oh, another cool thing I didn't mention in the last episode about choosing the bandit. Uh, the bandit class. This, so the spider shield, what's really cool about it is it has resistance to poison, which it's kind of that way through all the, through all the Souls games, whenever there's a spider shield. Uh, just... Something I just completely spaced to uh, kind of inform you guys about. Okay. So, go here. I thought there was one that was like around this corner. Yeah, right there. I'm trying to act like a boss, and he's not a boss. Like, I'm going to do that slow boss walk. Okay. So, another thing to kind of go over um at least it was in three i don't know if it is in this one but normally you can check if they're a mimic chest check the chain if it's if it's rounded it is uh a i broke that so you can't see it basically if it goes from the chest and kind of has that curve to it it's a normal chest so you don't have to worry about getting attacked but if it's straight it's normally a, uh, a mimic. I don't know if that's in, in one or if that's just in three. Uh, but I know in I know in three, if you sat here long enough, you can see him breathe. I, I can't remember if this one has mimic chest. I think it does. I just, I, I some sometimes I get my, my Souls games mixed up. Just because of like how much I, I play them. So let's ignore these guys for now. Let's go up the ladder. Let's go get revenge on the guys throwing firebombs. Whoa, man. You're like Spider-Man. Holy shit. Woo. That was almost bad. That was almost very bad. That Spider-Man jump, like, really threw me off. Okay. Where are these guys at? Oh, ow. All right, Dick. Just for that. I killed your friends. How do you feel? 
Oh, well, you joined them. <laughs> okay, so I think with having the master key, we can open this. Which gives us this chest. So, see how it's got the curve? So, we got some gold pine resin pretty early on. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So let's go up the tower. We'll have an archer. No weapon. Or no, uh, no item. I don't know why I said no weapon. Uh, no item here. So now we have these guys. We can do like one heavy and then a dot. Yeah, that's exactly the stamina we have. One heavy and a dot. Not bad. <laughs> okay, so we grabbed all that. Um, honestly, we're not that far from the boss. Uh, right up here, there will be a trap, so we'll walk out to the broken part of the, the wall there, and then run off to the run back around. And then this guy will come down and want to play. She actually got down here kind of fast. Wasn't expecting that. Howdy, master. Alright. So before we go up there, that, that is progression towards the boss. We're going to go down here to our right. This will require you to get good. But he does give you a free backstab. So just sneak up behind him, nice and slow-like. Get close. Oh, we missed it. Oh, no. Come on, buddy. You can parry him. Boom. I think it's like three parries. Come on. Oh, I didn't get the visceral. Give me that visceral. Boom! Drop me something good. Damn it, just a chunk. I was hoping for a weapon. And all that for the blue tear stone ring. Uh, which, honestly, we'll use for now. Uh, so, nice thing about the ring of sacrifice. Uh, you, uh, when you die, you don't lose your souls, but the ring will, will break. Um, and then the ring we just picked up, just a small defense boost when your HP is slow. I think it's like, don't quote me on it, but I think it's probably like either 20 or 30%. Hidden path ahead. Yeah, go ahead and jump right off, idiots. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> okay, so we are ready for the boss. Oh, another area that the master key takes you to? Boop! Right here. Takes you takes you uh, down here. If you keep going down, you will run into Havel. Um, which, obviously, we are not ready for. But... I don't... Honestly, the master key is just... I have to say, in, in my opinion, it is the best starting item. Like, it... It just opens up so much, like, early on. What if you broke one of these, a lizard thing pops out, yep. What was that, Twinkling Titanite? Two Twinkling Titanites and a, damn, you got a Titanite chunk already? Holy shit. Alright, so when you go into the boss fog, you won't appear right away. But before you head across... Go, turn around, go up the ladder. And then when you go up the ladder, you'll have two hollows that you need to kill. If not, they would be sitting here doing this while you were fighting uh, the boss. Praise, ooh, I have to. Whenever I see a praise the sun, I have to read it. Praise the sun. 
Blair is like my, f I, I wouldn't say he's my favorite, but he's up there. He's like in my top three. I'd say it, it's kind of a tie between him and Luca Teal. Here comes the, the Taurus demon. Come on, buddy. So the Taurus demon, he's not bad, uh, but there is kind of a, a strat you can do if you go up the ladder. You can do a plunging attack on him, just like we did in the tutorial one. Um, but if you stay up here too long, he will jump up here. As you can see right now, he was about to jump up there, but we did get the plunge attack before he did. So, really what you could do is you could come down here, wait until he gets about halfway, and then you could juke juke him and then you can go back to the ladder and do it again really he's not that hard of a boss ow this is actually the most he's like attacked me on the ladder normally he doesn't attack me at all he always misses oh no no I missed come on buddy Get you a little bit more towards this end. Go ahead and juke. Ooh. Oh wow. Man, I haven't died to him in a while. He knew I was on my bullshit. He's like, yeah, you're on your bullshit. I'm I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he knew. He just knew, man. This was probably a bad idea going in there. Just trying to get you guys unbunched here. There we go. Don't ask me how I did that without getting hit. I'm uh, honestly a little surprised myself. Okay. Go up here, do the same thing, kill the archers. Ow. 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 And my souls are way back there. Come on. There we go. Oh, is he gonna drop right on him? I bet he is. Oh, uh, did I call that or what? Ah! Just run. Don't look back. Don't look back. Just go. Just go. That's kind of a wasted humanity that we had. He's gonna hit us. Oh, he didn't that time. Yeah, see, if you don't have to heal, it's really not too bad to hit it every time. It was just do having to heal made uh made it to where like the timing was just too close on uh, him jumping up get him like here he's gonna do that oh whoa hello oh how you hit me there but okay okay uh yeah he's definitely gonna hit me if i climb we're still gonna go for okay never mind he attacked he attacked we're good he would have attacked we would have gotten hit And I love the soundtrack. Come on, buddy. Get you about right here. Go ahead and do your bullshit. Now I'm just gonna run right on past you. Yes, he attacked. So that means we're gonna have time. 
Oh, uh, I chalk up that last death as just like a complete fluke. Like, my timing on everything was just messed up because he hit me on the ladders and I'm not used to getting hit on the ladder. <laughs> so with that, humanity and homer bone. And it was like 3,000? Yeah, 3,000 souls. Well, that, I'm fat rolling and I don't like this. I, I mean, it says I shouldn't be, but I feel like I am. Large soul of a lost undead. We're really gonna be fat rolling once I equip the, the spy hander. Alright, so with him defeated, we can talk to Solaire. Ah, hello. I am so now that I am undead. I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn. Do you find that strange? No need to hide your reaction. I get <laughs> Hello, Solaire's quest. I want to save you. I didn't save you my first playthrough. If you have a moment. The way I see it in a land brimming. I want to join your I want to join your covenant. Because I really want We are amidst strange beings, the flow of time itself, the very fabric wave. I really want the lightning spear. Much longer you but use this to summon one another and engage in of course. Engage in jolly cooperation. Basically that's your that's your furling finger, your beckoning bell. I mean, in all Souls games, it's always been uh, soapstone. I mean, at least in well, Demon Souls was a soapstone, or it was like a sign that you put on the ground. I think really the only ones that it wasn't was what Demon or not Demon Bloodborne and um. What was the other one? Oh, uh, Elden Ring. I think those are the only two, because obviously Sekiro was, uh, only single player. Alright, so right here, we need to sprint across. Dragon will come in and attack. Hopefully we can make it, because we have fucking 6,000 souls. I really don't feel like losing all that. Oh, oh, God! Oh! Oh! I don't know how we only took that much damage. That That is... Astonishing. Unkick that down. So this takes us back to the bonfire uh, we unlocked earlier. One that, or well, the one that we kindled that earlier. So let's go ahead and get 24. Uh, which one was it that did um, Equipment load, endurance. Okay, so I want to get endurance up too. Let's get endurance to like 16. Okay, see, the rolls are getting a little better. All right, but now we are ready, which this might make us too too heavy now, because this is a heavy, a heavy ass weapon. Oh yeah, look how slow that is. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I've dealt with fatter rolls. All right, so let's go ahead and head back up. And we're gonna... We're gonna, um... So yeah, we can either go across the bridge where the dragon is, or we can go under. So right here, if I had arrows, this would be where you would want to be, and you're just going to sit there and keep pumping arrows into his tail, and eventually it will break, and you will get the, uh, you'll get the, um, what you want to call it, the Drake Sword. How much stamina did that take? Oh my god, half my bar. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Heavy takes up my whole bar. That's crazy. Yeah, 
you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna push me off yep yep you're gonna you're gonna you're trying to push me off see what you're doing asshole I don't think I have anything for this yet no really poison's not too bad to handle uh yeah let's let's switch just because of how slow that is right now these guys are a little faster okay It does last a while though. I will say that. Alright, so going that way, we can't access it, but the bonfire is right there. So really what we wanted to do is go across the bridge, uh, light the bonfire, open that, and then boom, this is progression. So and if you go up here, there's a there's a black knight, but obviously we don't want to do that. Not until we have the other way open. Let's go ahead and slide on down. And let's let's go and uh, get the uh, get the other way. I just wanted to tackle this this very minuscule area. It's actually a pretty good. Uh, Pretty good soul farm. You uh, come up here and then chill right here. Pretty good early on soul farm. You get 555 souls every every time the dragon kills everybody. So instead of just running out, because obviously you can see the dragon's gonna keep doing that. You stand right here and wait. The dragon will get bored. Dragon gets bored. Grab this first one. Because that is the claymore. Then come on over here and light the bonfire. Claymore, obviously worth grabbing. Okay, so can we run the claymore? Because that's going to be a little bit faster right now. For us. So 1610 we can. So I'm gonna run the claymore just until Dragon doesn't want me resting. Okay, spammy McSpamerson. This dragon doesn't give a shit. Damn, I even reset the world <laughs> and it still killed me with the fire. <laughs> it was just sitting there spam, 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 spam. <laughs> <laughs> Just kept sitting there blowing his breath. Kind of funny, actually. Okay, so oh, the dragons shouldn't be right behind us. So let's go grab that real quick. And then go ahead and reset. All right. So then up here, once you get your faith to a certain amount, this will be the uh, the Sunbro Covenant. Basically, where you take your uh, sunlight medals to. Um, what are we just sitting at? We're sitting at 24 minutes. Kind of just flying through this shit. Um, alright, so what we're gonna do, let's go kill this guy. Right. Now, let's see if we can't. Kill this guy. It'd be really cool if I got lucky and he dropped his great sword. Or the halberd. Oh wait, no. He wouldn't drop the halberd because he's uh he's got the great sword. Boom! Oh. 
Oh shit, missed. Shit. Those ones that I'll probably die here because every time I miss those ones. What are you doing? You know, while he's down. Oh, I forgot about the little pokes. Okay, that's two Black Knights down. Titanite Chunk. Okay, so they're just uh, wanting to not give me weapons and just give me the Titanite Chunks. That's cool. Thanks, guys. Love it. Makes me uh, feel warm and pink and fuzzy inside. Okay, level up. Let's get... Um, Oh, we have one level. Oh, bum, 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 bum. let's go ahead and I just keep going with strength. Nah, let's get. Let's get endurance to 20. We'll get endurance to 20, and then after endurance, we'll get vit to 20, and then we'll start pumping uh, faith up a little bit. Okay, so the Black Knight is dead. Honestly, this next area we could probably get. Probably do in the next episode because we'll have the boss. I won't be able to cover this entire area and the boss in four minutes. We'll, we'll cover this little area that's right in front of us. Take out the boar. Claymore is a very good uh, choice for a quality build. The, it's it's move set's very nice. Very very beginner friendly. You just have your overhead, and then up. Overhead, uh, underhand, and then, um... One. Where's my stamina? There it is. <laughs> so, one, two, and then if you go into a heavy, it turns into a sweep. Just your full heavy. Just, just a sweep. And one hand, it's just sweep attacks, and then a lunge. So that's your that's your back step in R1. Back step R1. It's like a little spin to win. Back step R2. Still about the same as the, the regular R2 attack. Alright, so get about here. The boar's gonna charge, run back, and around the corner. Then he's gonna get bored. He's gonna turn around and head back. So see he's armored. So you, you want to get a butt stab. So then, do the same thing. You're gonna get bored. I got bored. I didn't want to try to get another butt stab on him. Alright, so we'll go up the stairs here. Let's tackle archers and stuff first. Oh, that bitch. Interrupted my attack. Alright, we're gonna ignore you. Go for the archers! Stab! Yeah! yeah. I was definitely locking on trying to trying to move. Damn man. Oh, oh I rolled right into the fire. Oh my god. Oh Oh 
Oh my gosh, man. You still in the lunges? There's the lunge again. Just die. I'm done with you. Oh, okay. Let's play like this guy. I'm just gonna walk around with my shield up. My shield's up. Yep. Yep. Shield's up. Asshole. Okay, what are we chilling at? Ooh, we just hit the 30 minute mark. Uh, like so close to getting the getting the shortcut. Oh, but let's wrap up here. Um, in the next episode, we'll go, we'll continue forward, and we will get the uh, shortcut unlocked. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.